All right. After the horrible, horribly embarrassing uh, run last time, we're back, and we're gonna actually try. We're actually gonna conscientiously go through and kill everything, so that I don't die again. Um. I don't. What did I, I didn't lose that much stuff or anything? I lost like a couple thousand souls. Whatever. But yeah, we're we're just gonna we're gonna actually uh make it through this. We're not gonna die. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good run. You'll see it. It's gonna be like magic. You're gonna be thinking. Okay, you're not gonna be thinking anything good. You're still gonna be thinking, what are you doing? You're still screwing it up. And I'm totally screwing it up. I admit it. So weak. Okay. <laughs> it's actually like, you know, if you've been playing this game a lot and you 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 know you play lots of new game plus and plus plus and whatever else, like up to seven I think it goes. But um, if you play that, you know, even though the enemies have more health and do a lot more damage. Like, you still feel much better when you're playing, in the sense that, like, you know, I'm just starting here, I'm like, I don't know, still level 10 or 12 or something right now, and, like, you feel like everything can kill you and everything can kill you. But, like, even though, even, well, when you get to, like, New Game Plus, 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 Plus or something, even though you're, uh, you know, all the enemies are decidedly stronger and whatever, you still feel, like, equipped to fight them. Whereas right now I don't feel equipped to fight anything, and you know I think it, a lot of that has to do with like my arsenal, I guess. Like because you know I, I have like no variety in my magic right now. Just got my soul arrow only. And you know soul soul arrow is handy, but. Uh, I mean, not handy if you want to kill anything, but <laughs> handy if you want to push stuff around for a little bit and do, like, little chip damage. But, you know, it actually, it actually, I'll, I'll admit, it gets stronger. It gets stronger when you get, like, a better magic rating, but in the beginning, not, not the strongest stuff. But generally, if you want to go for like some powerful magic in the beginning, uh, you'd 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 go with a pyromancer because, you know, pyromancer, pyromancers—they're uh, that's some strong stuff. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, magic gets really strong later in the game, so like it's kind of it might be a little rough in the beginning if you're not used to it, but. You know, once you get later in the game and you and you have stuff like Dark Bead and uh, uh, Crystal Soul Spear and stuff like that, you just rain on stuff. It's like, uh, you know, it's always funny because you'll see later on when I have like a homing Crystal Soul Mass and a Soul Spear or whatever, and I'll have, you know, I'll run in and I'll fight uh, Pinwheel or something. And like literally he'll die before he's finishing his opening animation there <laughs> like you know the crystal soul mass will take off 75 percent of his health or whatever and then the uh, the spear you shoot right afterwards it kills him so like usually they'll both hit at the same time so you know later on you're, you're pretty well off but it's just this beginning part where you only have the soul arrow. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. Okay. Okay. I'm like trying to pay attention because I don't want to die here again.
and you know oh there <laughs> so back to topic free and clear but you know what I'm just oh never mind I'm not gonna go there first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the key that I've been saying that I'm gonna go get I'm gonna get that burst before I reset all the enemies See, I'm thinking a little bit. It's, <laughs> I'm gonna admit that, like, it's 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 much harder than I thought it would be, like uh, playing and talking, because you know, it's just the kind of thing that I don't usually do when I'm playing this game. Normally, I'm concentrating or getting too cocky and dying. That happens a lot more than anything. Or fallen off shit. That happens more, I think, than any type of death for me. I don't I don't know why, like but if if there's a way to fall off something, I've probably done it in this game, man. Seriously. Uh, stupid stupid ways too. Like I'll just be like not paying attention, you know, like I'll be running along somewhere like here and like my phone will buzz and I'll just keep on running straight off the edge. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that happens. Okay, so I got the key. And I am going to go and unlock Griggs of Vinheim. But not before I reset all the enemies, because... Why not? That's not true. Ah, uh, I will light the fire. But I won't... Oh, uh, yeah, no. Dogs. But, yeah. So I am gonna go get some magic. That's our, that's our next goal. Get some magic. Okay, Andre. But oh, I do have some shards. We're gonna upgrade my club. Okay, so you'll see that usually, usually the way I go through this is I upgrade the club to plus five, and then I'll go kill the butterfly, and then I upgrade the club to divine, and I go get the actual weapon I want to use in the catacombs. So the club is usually divine when I play, and then, you know, I'll upgrade everything else to magic or enchanted. You know, for the obvious reason of that. Oh, my... You know, my strength isn't going to go much higher than 16 or 14, maybe, or 16. Um, I don't actually remember. But anyway, we're going to unlock Griggs. And I am going to unlock this shortcut over here. And get my soul keep, soul keeper soul... Soul Keeper Soul, Fire Keeper Soul, um, and hopefully do it well. Okay, let's see. Now, as a you know, like usually, like. I'm a magic u like a magic user here. I'm using trying to main magic as my uh, stuff, but I often forget to use it. So I'm trying, making a concerted effort to use my magic, which is uh, you know something I usually don't even do. Uh, usually, like you know, I'll get some kind of soul mass or something and just hit that off and then just go to town with weapons while after the uh, initial soul blast. Um, Alright, here we can look at the horrifying charred blue face of my character. There he is! <laughs> His face isn't melted at all. Alright. So... Okay. Uh, 
Hello, I am. Uh, yeah, great. Hello, I realize that I have requested that we retain our. But I'm here. No, go ahead. It's for you. Yay. I have. So, what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? No. That is a shame. Speak to me if you have a change of heart. Generally, um, in in my characters, like I have two characters that I've played through already. Like they're on one is on New Game Plus Plus, and one is on New Game Plus. And on on the PlayStation Three, I mean, since I got the Artorias of the Abyss edition, and I um. I have one, one is a, another magic user, and the other is a faith build, strength and faith build, I guess, and, um, you know, I use a lot of miracles, and I, I don't really like m miracles, I think, <laughs> I just, you know, wanted to use the, uh, the lightning arrows or whatever, lightning spears, but beyond that, I don't really use that many. I'm sure there's some good ones. You guys might know some better miracles besides like Wrath of God and stuff like that people s spam kill me with all the time when they invade. Um, but besides that, you know, I mean, I have it, I use it, but whoa, wasn't totally forgot about that guy. Not equipped to fight him or multiple ballers here. I don't have to. Yeah, the only reason I attacked those guys initially was because I was hoping they'd drop a uh, some shards or something. You know, they. Everybody wants that sword. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm dying so much. This is way more than I usually die to. But I'm going to attribute it to the talking and not to um, suckiness. But you guys can attribute it to suckiness if you want. I don't care. I'm not, like, claiming I'm really awesome at this game. I just really like this game. And, you know, it's just a really good game. I have very little to complain about in this game. You know, beyond that, I wish there was more of it. Not to say that it's too short. And, I mean, you could conceivably finish the game in like an hour or two if you were like just blaze through everything but you know it's the kind of thing where like you know it's not necessary you could you know like I said my first playthrough it took like 100 hours and this one it won't take anywhere near that hopefully I mean <laughs> if I keep dying the way I'm dying it's gonna take 100 hours but that's a totally different story no, I'm not going to I'm not even going to go through there this time. I'm just going to go down and unlock <laughs> Griggs of Vinheim. Oh, I should have killed that guy. And I can't believe I forgot to unlock the gate last time. <laughs> even though I complained, like I screwed up by not unlocking the gate. I still didn't unlock it last time. Alright. Stupid guy following me. Oh, he didn't follow me. Good. Okay, so Griggs of Vinheim. That's our goal. I'm going to keep saying it so I don't get sidetracked. Play more there if you want it. I don't. Oh no, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh man. That was my fault. Sorry. Sorry, my fault. And I realize now that I should have went back through the building to pick up my souls. I totally forgot about it. Eh, whatever. 
I, I don't really care about the souls that much. It's, you know, like, it's not like I had enough time to get a lot in this, uh, period of time yet, and I'm gonna kill these guys before we run over there this time. And, you know, you later in the game, the souls come so easily that it's just, you know, if you, if you don't do a lot in the beginning, it's not really, it's not really gonna hurt you that much. So, I, I didn't even think about it, but I am going to need a bunch of souls pretty soon to, you know, buy my magic <laughs> that I've been talking about. But, again, Griggs of Binheim, we're going to get him. I'm not getting sidetracked. I, was <laughs> I say that because I was just thinking, oh, I should go uh, kill the undead dragon and take that soul in the Valley of the Drakes. And then, then you know... I would have been off doing that, but I have to unlock Griggs, and I'm doing it right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go fight the Capra Demon yet. Save that for another time, because I'm like kind of hit or miss with that. I'm like, not, not that it, I think it's crazy difficult. It's, it's actually a pretty easy, but I, I often find that like I'll get stuck right in the beginning you know, by the dogs. So if you can get, if I can get the dogs dead, like it's an easy battle, but the dogs, man, these stinking dogs. So yeah. Uh, okay, I'm getting a little sidetracked, but I'm just gonna try and see if I can kill these guys with the, uh, <laughs> through the door. Okay. Okay, so a little sidetrack, but I'm not I'm not going to continue on because God knows, I'll just keep going. So all right. No, oh, what what are you doing? Stop. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? <laughs> I like that he, he, you know, he he knows all this magic and stuff, but just. Whatever, just trapped in a room with a body in a barrel. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Shady Griggs of Vinheim. <laughs> I, I always, like, every time you find Griggs, there's corpses around him, man. And it's always other mages. So Oh hello. I, I have my sorcery. Besides, I Yeah, whatever. Alright, Griggs. Okay, I guess we'll go through here and unlock the shortcut because you know couldn't couldn't hurt, right? I mean it's not like I could die in here, right? I mean, what's what's in here? Just some dogs, a couple of thieves, undead thieves, or whatever they're called in this. I don't remember. What could possibly go wrong? Is what I'm saying here. Um. Oh, that could go wrong. That could go horribly wrong. Oh no! There's still there's still three. I thought I killed one. A nightmare. Okay. Okay. I see. I see how it is. Dude's gonna try and flank me. I swear I killed one back there, but whatever. Whatever game. I'll play by your rules. Oh. 
another good thing about uh, this thing is when these guys try to parry you, the jump, they don't seem to be able to parry the jump attack, which is nice. Because it's like a free hit. Whenever they do that, like, I'm gonna parry you motion, you just, you know, jump on their ass and they, uh, take a hit. Sometimes in these rooms, there's those, like, uh, I don't remember which room it is, though, but inside one of these rooms, sometimes one of those rare creatures will spawn, if you're playing online like I am. Um, I've never seen one in the heat in here, I don't think, but I often see it in the, uh, I've seen like, I've seen it like five or six times in the, uh, Smo and Ornstein, uh, battle, and, you know, that's, but I've never seen a good one, the Smo and Ornstein one, the one in that room is, is one of the evil red ones, well, it's red in mine, I don't know, but, uh, apparently there's like two different versions of those things. Well, I don't remember if they're called Vagrants or something. Maybe. So Capra Demon is there. We're not going there right now. We're just continuing on to not die right there. That's part one of getting through this. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but the first time I came down here, um, this dude totally killed me. And, like, you know, I didn't know he was there, and you can't, like, really see him around the corner, and you're just running through, like, yeah, I'm through somewhere. And then, you know, that guy comes up behind you, you, like, run up to kill the other one, and then you're getting backstabbed all of a sudden. From then, I always remembered that guy was there. Is he coming up after me? Did I forget to kill someone? No. Okay, that was just me. Alright. So here's uh, the witch. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I don't know. She sells some good stuff. Um. Uh, this, these come in handy if you're not using some, if you're like a dex build or something with a, uh, using, or a strength build using a fully upgraded weapon or, like a normal weapon. And technically right now I am using a normal weapon, so I guess I might buy some of this. These things actually, uh, these prism stones, um, uh, I'm gonna buy some now just to save me the trouble. But, um, uh, come in real handy later on when you want to go get the blue, uh, oh, it's called the blue slab, that's it, I <laughs> couldn't remember the word there, blue slab, uh, you know, you have to, I usually use about 30 of them to get the blue slab, you just have to throw, take, like, one step and throw one, I guess you could, like, shoot arrows or something, too, but, you know, then it make, if you shoot arrows, it, like, ruins the purpose of having the prism stone in the game at all. Because, you know, when else will you use it besides then? I should have parried. Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> oh. This game is... Okay, so... I've saved Griggs, and I'm going back to talk to Griggs, and then we're going to head to Blight Town to get some green shards and souls. Yes, I know there's a ring over there. I'm not going to get it, though. I don't really need the Ring of Sacrifice right now. Eventually I'll have to go over there to talk to, uh... What's-his-face? The merchant that shows up there. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? 
You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Great. Are you interested? Splendid. I, Very well. I'd like I, I wonder, you know, he says that, like, back. he requires materials, well, but he only requires souls. Started straight away. So, are, is the magic in this game, like, um, soul-based? I mean, I, I realize, like, it's called, the things are called soul arrow and whatever, but, like, are they made from souls? Like, do I have to use up souls to use the magic? I mean, obviously, I don't use souls when I use magic, but, I mean, do I, are they made in such a way that, you know, souls are, uh, it doesn't really say, does it? Doesn't really say. All right, but yeah, I don't know. That's a, that's something to think about. Where does the magic come from? That's what I, <laughs> I, I don't know. That I've ever thought about it myself. Oh yeah, magic, magic. Okay, heavy soul arrow. I don't know. If I have enough magic to keep me going right here for... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. What we're gonna do is... I guess we'll go kill the undead dragon. Hopefully. And... Call it a video. Oh, I should probably... Oh, no! <laughs> oh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> that sucked. Okay, never mind. Change of plans. We're gonna... I forgot to get my the Firekeeper soul up where I killed the... Um, the knight up there in the church. So I'm gonna have to go back and get it. But first... First... Oh, wait. Did I talk to... Lawtrek? Was he even there? I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Lawtrek. No, he wasn't. That's weird. Did I save Lawtrek? Did I just say I was going to save Lawtrek and then never do it? Oh, that's a possibility. Okay. So, we we're, again, change of plans. We're not going to go the way I'm going. We're going to go back and save Lawtrek. And get my Firekeeper soul. Because if we go to if we go to Blighttown before we save Lawtrek, uh, he'll kill the Firekeeper. Well, I mean, after the... Uh, she'll be immediately dead after we kill the Gargoyles, I think. If you go to Blight Town first, and we're gonna go to Blight Town, but maybe I want to actually use Lawtrek in the uh, battle, just because you know I think he's cool. All right, my horrible blue face. It just looks black. I can't even really see it. Just horrible blue face. Okay, Soulkeeper Arrow and Lawtrek. That's what we're doing right now. Maybe. Did I? What did I just say? Soul. Firekeeper soul. I'm, I'm like all confusing my Dark Souls terms to other things. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, that's right. Parry that. Okay, so you saw he was trying to parry me there, and I just did the jump attack, and he can't parry it. Oh, I hate this stupid channeler. Usually I... W oh. Okay, sweet. That saved me a big headache. The channeler jumps down there, I can just run over and kill him. Instead of having to worry about all the... guys. <laughs>
Okay. So we're gonna kill ourselves a channeler. I'm trying not to uh, alert the, those uh, knights over there, but it's not looking like it's going to happen. I think they're going to come at me. Oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. I gotta take care of these knights. Oh, things aren't looking good here. Actually, things are looking decidedly bad. <laughs> This video is already getting long. Maybe I'm going to run in here. Heal up. I don't think the... I, oh, I didn't think they would come all the way in. I know these guys will come in. Someone's ringing a bell. Alright, okay. So, we're okay now. Okay, okay, safe. Let's go kill a Chandler. All right, this already this video is like already over thirty minutes, so I'm gonna kill the Chandler and we're gonna call it a video. Actually, I'm gonna kill this guy before he attacks me from behind, and then we're gonna kill the Chandler. Hopefully, has anybody ever gotten the Chandler to drop? his uh, spear here. I mean, I, I've never gotten him to drop it ever in any any of my playthroughs. But uh, I was just wondering if uh, anyone has ever gotten it from this channeler. Alright. So I guess I'll just turn off the game here, <laughs> quit out, and that will we'll start from here next time. So, see you guys next time.